I guess that was Wiley's contribution. This is my friend, and we're going to talk about him. Now, we're all told that the world is millions of years old, and modern humans have been around for hundreds of thousands of years. We haven't. The world is not what you think, and nor are you. Every living creature on this planet was wiped out by a bottleneck. There was unique species diversity. And now there's only you, me, and a cat. Because Earth keeps on getting hit by the dinosaur's friend, the asteroid. And that's a giant clue to what UAPs might really be. A way of causing human extinction. I've completely gone mad. Or have I? UAPs might be here to kill us all. Peace, love, and understanding, especially to people who believe in UFOs, because they might be here to kill us all. Now, let's get our facts straight. We are special. We are related. The human race, in all its diversity, was squeezed down to a few survivors in a bottleneck near extinction event. We are all related to the few people who survived and we bred to populate the Earth. Unlike my friend here, who was wiped out. Science and your government knows that this will happen again. And for the last 10 years, have been looking for near-Earth objects. Smaller asteroids that are going to hit Earth. City killers and country killers. And they're jolly good at spotting them. It only takes four. One, two, three, four individual sightings to work out its orbit and to check in the future if it's going to hit Earth. But what's this got to do with UFOs? For the last 10 years, there's been eyes in the skies looking for things that enter into our solar system, orbit Earth, go around the sun, and hopefully don't hit us. So anything that approaches from afar will have been spotted. We know the people doing that work. The Pan Stars, the Atlas program all over the world is spotting these near Earth orbits. And at the University of Hawaii, they found one. An interstellar visitor. Oumuamua. It was truly interstellar, not part of our local network, our sun and all our planets. It came from a distant planet circling another sun, made its way to our solar system, went flying past Earth, orbited the sun and departed back to where it came from. Oumuamua, the scout from Hawaii, was very special. It was one of only two interstellar, away from our solar system objects that we as humans have ever seen. The other one is the strange object that landed in the Pacific that Avi Loeb's been looking for remnants of. What it is, we don't know. But that's my point to you today. There's eyes on the sky all over our planet, in different countries, looking for anything that approaches our Earth. 
But David Grosh is claiming that a spaceship, that's what he called it, with non-earthly creatures on board, crashed into Earth and was retrieved by the US Army and hidden in a hangar. But nobody saw it approach from space. Every country in the world, from South Africa to Wales, is looking for stuff approaching Earth. But my friend, the astrophysicist, asked this really good question. Why aren't we seeing alien spaceships approaching Earth, going into orbit, descending through our atmosphere? What's really going on? Why are we here? And why are the dinosaurs extinct? These are the questions that Wiley and I, get your tail out of the camera, want answered, but with so many eyes on the sky, looking for rocks that will cause the next human bottleneck. Where are the aliens? Now, None of what I've just said is actually coming from me. I paraphrase a meeting with a friend who's an astrophysicist. That's his thoughts. He's looking every day out into space, into deep space. He knows people at SETI who are listing for technological aliens. They're looking for near-Earth objects. He says that the military has radar looking for anything in near-Earth orbit which might be a threat. And nobody has seen a flying saucer yet. So how do we believe, and that's the word, that there is a crashed UFO in an American hangar when we don't even see them out in space? I rue the day that they will arrive because the truth is out there.